This video will teach you how to flash MicroPython onto an ESP8266 microcontroller. You will need a board with an ESP8266 microcontroller, such as the Wemos D1 Mini. You will also need a USB cable to connect it to the computer. In order to run MicroPython on our ESP8266, we first need to download the MicroPython firmware. However, there are several downloads available targeted at different memory sizes. If you do not know how much memory your ESP8266 has, you can use ESP Tool to check. You can install ESP Tool using PIP. We also need to check which port our ESP8266 is connected to. If you have not yet connected your ESP8266 to your computer with a USB cable, you should do so now. Mac and Linux users can enter the following command to find the correct port. Windows users should open Device Manager, and expand the ports list. Next, run ESP tool with Python, using the following command. Then we need to add the P flag to specify the port. We will use the C flag to specify the device, ESP8266. The command will output a series of information about your ESP8266, including the memory size. Here we have a 4 MB memory, so we can use the 2 MB or more firmware option. Choose the latest .bin file from the list of releases. Once the firmware has downloaded, we are ready to flash the ESP8266 with MicroPython. We could do this using the command line and the aforementioned ESP tool. However, there is a graphical tool called PyFlasher, which is easier to use. Follow the link on screen to download PyFlasher from GitHub, then install it. Once installed, go ahead and open PyFlasher. We can select the serial port for our ESP8266 in the first drop-down box. Next, click the Browse button and locate the micropython.bin file, which you just downloaded. The board rate setting can be left set as 115,200. The flash mode is dependent on the device. In most cases QIO will be the correct setting for an ESP8266. However if you encounter difficulties, try DIO mode instead. Lastly, we should set the erase flash option to yes, in order to erase all previous data. Now we are ready to flash the ESP8266. Go ahead and click the flash button. Once the flashing process has completed, we can test MicroPython. In order to connect to the MicroPython prompt, we need to use a serial terminal. Follow the link on screen for further details on how to use the Mac, Linux or Windows serial terminal to access MicroPython. You can also use Chrome browser on any operating system. Using Chrome, follow the link on screen to open a browser-based serial terminal. Click on the connect button, then select your ESP8266 port. Now enter the following print command in order to check that MicroPython is working. Congratulations! You have successfully flashed MicroPython onto your ESP8266. Visit scitech.com forward slash ESP for more tutorials like this.